let's take a look at cutting out shapes from other shapes in Inkscape so we can do a cool layering effect. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab my creating circle ellipse and arcs tool and I'll just draw an ellipse like this. And then over in my fill and stroke panel, I'm just going to turn off the stroke. So we just have the background color here and let's make this light blue. Now I'm going to come and grab my Bezier tool. So if you're here, you can see that we have the Bezier and you can get this by just pressing B. If you press B, you can start drawing shapes. Now I wanna just draw some basic waves here. I'm gonna control and scroll in here so I can see this a little better. And the way I'm gonna start drawing shapes is I'm going to hold the shift button the whole time that I'm drawing this. So what happens when you hold shift is when you click your first dot, you can pull out, and this is not the actual line you're drawing, but this is the first anchor point. So if I let go there, so let's do this again. Hold shift, click, and pull out. You can see that the anchor points out here, so that's controlling the curve of the line. So I want the curve of the line to start going out like this, and then I can draw my first point like that. So I'm gonna click, but I'm gonna hold down shift, and you see I let go of shift. So now it's trying to draw the line, but if I come back here to the point, I can grab the anchor again, and I can make it curve out like this, and I can draw something like that, and I can keep doing this to draw like basic waves like this. And I can come around here, and then I can just close off my path like this. Now I have a path, so I have some waves, right? And then what I can do with this is I can switch back to my uh, Select and Transform tool. I can just press S if I want a shortcut to that. And then I can, what I can do here is I can actually cut this shape out of the original circle here. So let me just come up here and I'll grab the circle. And what I'll do is I'll press Control D. So that duplicates the circle. And you can see here that I can move this circle around. There's two of them now, right? Um, I'm going to put this back on top of each other. There's still two circles here. So with the top one selected, I'm going to press Shift and I'm going to select my path here. So now we have both of these objects selected. And then I'm going to press Control Shift in the number eight key or the star key. And that's going to cut the shape out like this. Now that's the same thing as going up to path and doing an intersection. Um, but instead, I just did the shortcut. So now that I have this wave here, I can come and I'll just give this a darker background color and I'll get rid of the stroke here. And what I could do is I could actually duplicate this as well, so Control D, and I could move this over here, something like this, if I wanted to. And what I can do with that is I can then duplicate this layer one more time. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna duplicate. I'm going to hold down Shift and select this bottom layer so both those layers are Select it, and then I'll do Control Shift 8 again. So now we get that cut into the right shape, and I'll make this an even darker color. So I'll grab this darker color one more time, and then I can just press Page Down to layer this behind the layer before. So you can see you can kind of get this cool wave effect going here where you can layer different objects like that. Um, we can come up here. We can actually make this a little lighter if we want to do something like that. So we can grab this and make this a little lighter. Now, I probably should have drawn another wave over here to make this a little better, but again, you could always just grab this and you can control V, control and paste it. And you could just put it over here, something like this. And then what we could do is we could, again, duplicate and shift. And then let's demonstrate doing it by going path, intersection. So you can see that there. So yeah, that's how you can kind of cut objects out of other objects and layer them to make this cool effect like this. Hopefully this helps you out and stay tuned to our channel for more InScape content in the future. See ya.